Our group's mission, much like the HPC communities, is to help solve the world's most challenging problems faster and to do it in a sustainable manner by achieving results while using less energy. It's a lofty goal that requires us to push the limits of technology and our innovation. Sometimes we achieve our goals and other times we fall short. Regardless of the obstacles we face, we will always keep striving to help you to help the world. There is incredible diversity in traditional HPC codes, and these continue to evolve and advance with the integration of AI-based techniques. If you look at common workloads by vertical and characteristics, you'll see some are in-memory bound, others are compute bound, some have small kernels with a lot of control flow, others have large data parallel kernels, and most require extremely large data sets. There's no one size fits all solution. Just like there are often multiple routes to reach the summit of a mountain, the industry has approached this diversity with multiple architectural routes. Route number one increases CPU core count and enhances those cores with new instructions and integrated acceleration engines. This enables high reuse of existing code and leverages large system memory. Route number two utilizes discrete GPUs to offload data parallel kernels this leverages the data parallel compute on GPU and the attached high bandwidth memory. Is the CPU or the GPU route the best one? Yes, but each route has its pitfalls. Over the last decade, peak compute has increased along the CPU route significantly, but workload performance hasn't kept up because we haven't been feeding the cores efficiently with data. This imbalance has been a major obstacle leading to wasted cycles, wasted energy, and wasted costs. This is like building your muscles to get to the top of a mountain, but not improving your cardiovascular system to supply that muscle with oxygen. Along the GPU route, we've had to deal with a substantial obstacle of porting and refactoring code. This has been further hampered by proprietary GPU programming environments that prohibit portability between GPU vendors and inconsistency between CPU and GPU implementations. Fundamentally, CPUs have been stuck with too little memory bandwidth, while GPUs have too little memory capacity, and moving data between the two results in lost performance and wasted energy from data movement overhead. We want GPU-level memory bandwidth at scale for the majority of HPC codes that run on CPUs, while also making it easy to share code investment between CPU and GPU for those workloads. To ensure no HPC workload is left behind, we need a solution that maximizes bandwidth, maximizes compute, maximizes developer productivity, and ultimately maximizes impact. That's why I am excited to introduce the Intel Mac Series product family, which includes the Intel Xeon CPU Mac Series that supercharges the Xeon architecture with high bandwidth memory, and the Intel Data Center GPU Mac Series that is our highest performing, highest density, general purpose discrete compute accelerators. The entire Mac series family of products are unified by one API for a common open programming model to unleash productivity and performance.